I love technology. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Feats and Beats. And gentlemen, first on the agenda, shots. Shots. Salute. Turn it the right way. Ooh. Oh. What was that, Danny? Oh, my God. Jameson. Oof. Yeah. Ooh, that woke me up. Okay. So what's going on, guys? How you been? Rob, how you doing out there? Oh, I'm surviving. Looking forward to each week getting to do this. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I think it's just more with everything coming down the pipeline and how everything's processing and moving right now and how we're having to listen and sit and wait for it to get to the public's ears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's I know where I'm at is just like, oh, it's coming. So <laughs> I yeah, just man. I just thought that today I was I was going through some of the songs and I was like, oh shit, this one's we gonna release and this one I'm like, oh dang. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to put together a, a new set for what we got planned later on in the year. So be a fun yeah. one. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's like, hear me out. We play it backwards. <laughs> I was Everything. waiting for something. <laughs> Oh shit, Rob! WrestleMania is this weekend, man. Are you, are you stoked about that? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is Cody going to finish his story? I say, I hope. Hopefully, so. Yes, because uh, they need to. They need to wrap that up. And Roman's been champ for over three years now. It's, it's time for it to move on. Oh, <laughs> is it? Doesn't beat it. That's what we said that he's gonna take out Hogan at least. That is true. He does have to he does have to beat him in order to break Hogan's streak. So we'll see. I guess it all it's all a matter of how badly they want to remove Hogan from the history books, I guess. So and it's like every other year that he's like removed from the roster and then put back on because of some stupid shit he said or did. So <laughs> he's always getting canceled every other year. Uh, uh but, yeah. I think it I think personally Roman's still going to go over, but it's going to cause beef between him and The Rock, which will set up for, uh, what, SummerSlam, maybe? Probably, possibly. I would say SummerSlam. That would be the next biggest thing, unless they get get The Rock to go to Saudi Arabia because they want him to wrestle out there, but that's going to cost them. If they do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, It's just going to be setting up for that, for The Rock to end it, but... He's gonna beat Hogan's record, I guarantee it. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what I'm foreseeing. Unless my boy R Truth comes out and ruins the whole thing. I would hope <laughs> that happens. You know what I'm saying? That guy's funny, man. That guy's too much, dude. Um Long he cracks me up. Yeah. No, yeah, man. I'm I'm excited for it. I can't wait. Uh I mean, honestly, I think other than that. Like, I'm really looking forward to, like, Gunther versus Sami Zayn. I think that that's going to be a fantastic match just because both those guys are phenomenal wrestlers. But uh, uh, you non-wrestling guys, have you heard any hype about WrestleMania on your guys' end? Just I'm just curious as to how far that reach goes beyond wrestling fans. I'd have to say no. Um, <laughs> my, next, my question for you guys would be um, – I know Rob had said nowadays they split the events up and it's two days instead of one day. Yeah. If you were buying that on pay-per-view, do you have to buy both days or is it just one day and you get both? I think oh, it's a package. So. It's a package deal. Yeah. It's a okay. package deal. So yeah. they, they I, haven't split it yet and really, really screwed you. Right. Yeah. Well, but also it's, but. it's only like available on pay-per-view in certain countries still. Cause like, uh, they went to Peacock here. So if, so long as you have a Peacock, Peacock subscription, <laughs> fuck, try to say that 10 times, Fucking uh, careful, yeah, uh, careful. As long as you have a subscription to the CAC, you, uh, <laughs> you can, <laughs> you can, put, you, know, you can watch all the, all the pay-per-views for that same price, the 1099 a month or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got I, a I subscription know. for the cock for free for a year. So then you can watch WrestleMania this weekend with your subscription. That's right, everybody. Open up the cat. Like, <laughs> Maybe I'll watch it just so I can like, talk to you guys about this shit because I have nothing else to discuss with wrestling. So maybe I'll watch it and then come back on Monday with reviews for you. He comes back Monday dressed like fucking Macho Man. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking into this. Oh, yeah. 
You're not coming out of the stars and don't possess you. Watching watch wrestling once, dude. You know what I mean? Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Um, really quick, Danny, we hit a milestone on Spotify. Want to talk about that? Sure. I saw that we uh a thousand followers on Spotify. Yeah, which is cool. Which is... You know, it's funny because like we get listened to, we get streams, we get you know, we got, we're getting quite a few streams lately. And uh it's crazy to see like how many people either just don't follow people on Spotify or they forget to. Cause I have plenty of songs right. where like I'm like, oh, I thought I was following this band already. And like, you know, like <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess I'll follow them now. But it's cool. It's cool to see that those numbers are coming up and that people are liking what they hear enough to be like, I need to follow these dudes, you know? So Yeah. And it's yeah. For me, it's one of those things like it's it's uh I feel like it's such a harder number to build because you gotta like get them there, you know? Yeah. So you know, you get some followers here on on Instagram and you get some on TikTok and here and there. And then you just kind of hope it translates to all of them so that you're hitting it all and you're building and growing, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's good to like, you know, whatever rate that's growing, it's, it's a milestone and that's cool. You know I mean? Yeah, that's a, it's awesome. It's a, yeah. I, I think a lot of those people are people that are listening often. So that's cool. You know? Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Cause it's, it reminds me of like, you know, um, well, like I just like, like I posted the link today, like, Oh, Hey, make sure you guys are following us on Spotify. And I got, I got a few messages actually from people that have like been following us for a long time. Or they're like, I always forget to follow people. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, so yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah. So follow because that way you'll hear, you know, the newer releases and you'll yeah. kind of be up to date, you know? And it so, unlocked the tier. It, it unlocked. I don't know if you noticed in the email, but I was reading it. It unlocked the tier to where it guarantees to push all of our new releases to all of our followers. Oh, that's cool. Because I didn't even read cool. that. I just saw the yeah. thousand, and I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah. yeah. So hell yeah! Thanks again, oh, guys. And Thank then, you for the support. And then also on top of that, uh, today, you know, we just started doing the uh, discovery mode for yeah. six of our songs so they're getting they're getting pushed on spotify in a whole different way that we haven't we haven't had it's a whole marketing thing that we haven't had access to and now we do so that's, yeah and that's i've kind noticed of a good because, milestone. Uh, i was looking at the uh i was looking at the artist for spotify app and uh i don't think at any point today that i checked it was like under 30 people listening now you know, like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, cool. It's, oh, that's awesome. it's been yeah. kind of just rolling to where it's, you know, I mean, we've got a decent yeah. amount of people kind of always listening, you know, just, just, just inform me that there's nine people listening right now. Ooh, so to calm the fuck out. down, I'm going to I'm <laughs> gonna have to turn mine off. Hold on. <laughs> she Watch out. Bro, she didn't even give me 30 minutes, 30 seconds with that one, dude. She's she, she was just like, I'm going to, I'm going to knock you down. She a picked that team, pedal okay? right Hold from under me, dude. She was like, Hey. Calm down. Single digit, buddy. Single digit. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's funny as shit. Uh, you guys, uh, like, Rob, like you, were, uh, you were talking a little bit off. You, you started to talk a little bit off camera, but we didn't get into it about uh, Lizzo calling it quits, man. You want to talk a little bit about that? Oh, so apparently she's just tired of getting uh, ribbed, pretty much. Um, people Rib online talking shit about her and you know she's just in it for the art and she's having fun doing what she loves but everyone taking all this shit and saying all this shit about her and she's like you know what i'm not even about this i'm done i'm over it now whether she stays true to it or if she was serious i i don't know if there's any truth but uh you know being an artist I get that there's a, a point to some limit of criticism that we're supposed to take. Like, just listen to me. This is how you, you know, uh, it doesn't, you know, when you listen to criticism, but there's a fine line between that and just being a straight up dick. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. And so with all the trolls and the internet and everything, it's just like you, you have to deal with, you know, what's being thrown at you, just don't listen to them. It's, it's garbage, you know? I I have trash in my car, but, you know, I fucking get rid of it, throw it away. 
don't ever I don't play with it. I don't talk to it. I don't interact don't with talk it. To your just trash get rid of it. Car, <laughs> no, but it's just like if you're driving, you got trash in your car. You pick it up, throw it away. You don't hang on to it. You don't, you know. You definitely don't throw it out the window. Definitely. <laughs> don't litter. Definitely. Littering do is not cool. Yeah. Yeah. Pull over and let her get out of the car. You said it. <laughs> oh, this has been All the right, last cancel. episode of the last day of the forecast, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Uh, yeah, I what was, I was a little, uh, I, I didn't even understand when you said that she quit. I was, I was just kind of like, wait a second, why? And then now here, and I'm like, I get it, you know? It's a lot yeah, of bullshit she, you got to deal with, you know? She did a performance and everyone was just talking shit and she's like, you know what? Fuck this. Just, you don't need to stand up there and be, you know, taking booze and getting shit thrown at you for doing what you love, you know? Is that what time I I mean, sometimes you just got to read the crowd. If the crowd's not feeling it, cool. <laughs> Cut it short. Later. Love you guys. Bye. Good luck. Go fuck yourself. You know, I'd say I'd say just release shit, you know, and just fucking do your art, you know. Fuck it. Do you, Don't even do get you never out saw there, the fuck. Nickelback, like how Chad Kroger handled that before with you ain't no fans. All right, we're fucking leaving. Yeah, deuces later. Yeah, no, dude. Uh, like you were saying, man, I it's just like you said. There's a difference between criticism and just straight up being a dick. And I guess the, the message there, if anything, guys, just fucking be kinder to people, man. What the fuck? Like if you if some yeah. I get. If something's not for you and you want to express that uh, this isn't for me or, you know, whatever the criticism may be, but to go start like shitting on somebody's looks or anything like that. These people, we all put ourselves out there for for you guys. And it's a very vulnerable thing to do because, like, you know, like Rob said, there's plenty of people out there that are just ready to tear you down for no reason. Um, but. You know, it's just, uh, I fucking forgot where the fuck I was going oh, with this right now. Here's what, Go. here's what I find funny about it is being a musician, it's all about music. And music is an audio uh, art form. So you you have to hear it. It has nothing to do with looks. Yeah. It has nothing to do with vision. It has nothing to do with any other senses other than hearing it. Now you can feel it if it you turn it up loud enough or if it you feel the vibrations of the actual instruments within the room. But it's it's an audio um you, you get what I'm saying? Like Yeah, totally. Why people are judging based off looks has been going on for, you know, forever. But yeah. we, I think it's starting to be more open more than ever though yeah if you well, like the history of music and like how far it's come to a point where it's like oh it doesn't matter if you got tattoos on your face and you can sing like this you got a voice of an angel if you are you know 58 and you're still singing like a canary bird god yeah. bless your heart you know get it still go you know hey this dude's 85 singing drowning and cool you know like yeah. holy shit get it do what you love. Do what makes you like, happy. Get the boat, do, what, the do, what you, yeah. <laughs> do what you love to the day you die, man. Exactly. Yeah. I saw this great, uh, it was like a, a meme or something that I had reposted the other day where it was like, uh, don't let, uh, you know, this, like the, the theory of you need to be in your 20s to make music or to make your art or to get out there and try to become famous, like, or whatever it is that just doing what you love. They're like, it said like normalized being 95 dying on stage to a crowd full of people or something like that. Now that sounds a little wild, but you know, you, you get where it was going. <laughs> you get, yeah. you get the point. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just cool to see that, um, even though you, like you said that it is becoming more prominent, the trolling and the, that stuff, I was like, it's getting worse. Uh, the other side of that, of people, being outside of that box of the norm and still doing what they love, I think has increased as well. So, hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you got, you got the give and the take and, uh, <clears throat> you know, some people grew with more information being accessible to them with the internet. And some people just sat there and 
took uh took it on as like its own reality show and started leaving comments and and sometimes that's the funniest part of a post i mean you sometimes you just dash straight to the comments just to <laughs> yeah, see what's so many times <laughs> but you either got to realize that they're just it's who's got the funniest ribs you know what i'm saying like it's yeah. it's either who's got the best ones or they're being hurtful and hateful and it's just like ah you know what report it move on you know don't listen yeah. to it delete it like you said if you're just going to be spreading hate and you know talking shit like a joke i get it but if you're just like yeah you know, you don't need that get that negativity out of here yeah so, like I always say, don't spread hate, spread cheeks, right? Yeah. You guys want to talk a little bit about this Lincoln Park lawsuit? What's going on with that? Well, I thought you were going to transition with the spread cheeks with, into the ghost wipe. You know what? That's the perfect transition. <laughs> Go, Danny. <laughs> so none of you guys have heard this ghost wipe theory situation. I've, I've seen I have it on no a few clue. things. <clears throat> okay, so let me let me run you through this. So, you know, sometimes you, uh, you take a shit, right? And you go to wipe and you just, you just keep day. wiping and it's just, it's never ending, you know, it's the, the infinite wipe shit, you know? Mm -hmm. And then there's those times where you take a shit and you wipe and there's nothing there. Right. Mm -hmm. the, the ghost so wipe. it's the ghost wipe. Right. So check this out. So just like every person has a soulmate. <laughs> Every person what? has a poop mate. So the theory is is that when you have the infinite wipe, your your poop mate is having the ghost wipe and vice versa. I'm just gonna text a group chat one day. Anybody get a clear wipe today? <laughs> Cause I'm over here. I'm over here just doing it, you know? We're about to find so, out if we're, so we're here if we're white brothers over here. <laughs> oh, I have man. not heard of this theory. What the fuck? <laughs> tell, tell us your thoughts there josh tell us all about this what do you think how, how does that even make sense and i was gonna say i don't even have that problem but maybe it's because i don't eat meat there's always something i'm wiping well hear me out right like what if what if you could find your poop mate out there and then you could like give him a call and be like bro like today i got shit to do so i'm not trying to fucking sit around and wipe my ass all day so you got to take one for the team and then, you know, next time you need it, I'll free you up, you know? So your theory means that if you can find your your poop buddy there, uh, you can control who it's happening to? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you could be like, hey, bro, like, eat, eat fucking Taco Bell so you got it, you know? And then I'll be safe. <laughs> so their diet affects you? <laughs> you got to fucking, you got to go eat something shitty so that I fucking... I'm good today because I got like a concert to go to and I don't, I'm not even trying to go in those fucking porta potties, you know? Oh, I feel bad. Whoever my poop mate is then because of what I eat, I'm going to screw up your system bad. <laughs> Wait, hear me out. Hear, hear me out. Is it at the same time? The, like, like, see, this when... is the problem. The problem is, is I didn't make up the theory. Yeah. The problem okay. is that we need more research. Yeah, I need to know, really? is it like, is my soul, my ghost white mate? Or no, is that your, the, your whole soul, dude. That's what it is. Your whole soul. Your whole soul? <laughs> dude, whole dude, soul. get this right. A dating app for your fucking whole soul. Oh, dude. We're making Find it. Find your whole soul. Wholesouls.com. <laughs> Could this technically already exist if you're identical twins? You oh, that's just, a good question, dude. Maybe. Do, do twins do this? I don't know. You, it's just thinking I, if I your think ghost wife theory exists. I have two I sets of we, twin cousins. I'll get back to you guys on that one. Do it. Okay. Fill me in. In the meantime, let's uh, go ahead and get that soulstar.com. Soulstar. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and, uh, go ahead and nab that, that uh, URL right real now. quick. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, my make, soulstar. make that a dot .com. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, alrighty. So, Lincoln Park. <laughs> so, so apparently, I'm apparently, apparently, curious about this theory, though. Like, do, does that mean that you guys poop at the same time? 
and that's... one is having the worst end, and the other one's just like, this is. <laughs> Or is it like, hey, I had a bad one, you're going to have a clean one? You know, uh, and then is there a gradient? It, does it cross? We're, we're going to have to get, we're gonna have to get grants. We're going to need funding. We're going to have to start doing research on this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to find out, man. This is, I'm just wondering uh, if, like, if I always get stuck with the never ending wife and this person's barely. There you go. Hey, you can can you divorce? Can you div divorce your uh, your whole soul, or your uh, soul hole, or whatever it is? Your soul. <laughs> You're making it this sound like sound... it's Hancock. That this movie sounds Hancock. so wrong. You're like I, I need a no yeah. new soul hole. <laughs> Person's just fucking me up, you know. Oh man. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Leave My homemade over here is uh really got me in a knot. So Lincoln Park. Third time, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's my right transition. Right we'll get transition. to them eventually. So, uh, apparently, the base, <laughs> their old bass player, I'm assuming, not their current one, uh, just Kyle, what? Christner. Kyle Christner. Uh, producer Jess, thank you so much. Uh, apparently, uh, Kyle Christner, is that it? I'm sorry, guys. I may or may not have partaked in some shit earlier. So, I want to see. Well, the gummies are working. That's good. Yeah. Um, he settled the lawsuit. Somebody, please, for the love of God, make me stop talking. Go. I have no idea what's going on anyway with this guy. Who? What? Who was it against? It was against the whole band. Do we not know? We I don't assume, know. I would assume details. it was probably just like the whole estate of the band because if they settled the lawsuit like that. Okay. 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 Hold on. Somebody help me out. In a statement issued on Friday. The band said it had reached an amicable resolution with Kyle Christner, who had sued the band last year over claims that he had never been paid a penny for contributions he made during the several months he was in Lincoln Park in 1999. So he's whining about a few months he was in the band. He didn't get paid. Bro, what could he have possibly contributed? I mean, were they, were they doing an album when he was in, or was he just touring with them? Because if he was touring with them, I mean... When, you know, when did, they, when did, when did and, Lincoln Park start like blowing up? Do you guys remember? Like, what was that? Like 2000, 99, right around there? 2000. One more time, Jess? So, Hybrid Theory came out in 2000, so it'd be in 2000. Alrighty. So, okay. he's suing because he wants money for before they blew up. <laughs> I guess. I wonder how, well, how much could they have possibly paid him off, you know? That one show that they got signed, we want the door money. <laughs> you know, when it comes to situations like that, I kind of wonder if it's like, you know, when when somebody sues a company that they worked for and instead of it going to court, they're just like, just cut them a check so just to get this over with. Settle, yeah. It's not, it's not going to cause a dent in what we're doing anyways. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, I wonder if it's a little bit more of that as opposed to like, well, did he really deserve this shit or are we just going to get him out of our hair? You know, yeah. Well, I mean, if, I think if if he had a big part of like writing hybrid theory, I could see why he probably wants his cut. You that's know? what I'm saying. Um, like, that's that's why I was asking when he when they blew up because I was like, well, what would he have contributed to? And that would have been it. Yeah, I don't, I'm been... not really sure what his contribution is if he has any writing credits or any points on anything. But mm -hmm. yeah, without that, I mean, if it, if he was just a touring musician and he's saying he not he didn't get paid, I don't. Yeah, sorry, you know, signed with Warner. Oh, so Jess said that he got fired right before they signed with Warner. So okay, so if like let's say they had probably an agreement, like oh hey, you're in the band, we're all equal, we're we all took part of this, or it's all part of this group. Did the writing process? He bounced or whatever. Hey, but I wrote with these songs. No, the band wrote these songs. It's like we work right. together and writing it all together. It's the group's music now at this point. Like it's that's not my song. That's not Mark's song. That's mm -hmm. our song. Like we all put our dicks in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and like you said, it's but, it's all how it runs out. Like I know how we like, operate, you know? And everyone knew that when Lincoln Park came out, that record label fucking owned them. Like, here you go, push everything that they fucking had. Every song was a single off their first album, and you're just like, money. 
And that record yeah. company raked it all in and fucked them over and said, okay, we're going to get you to do it again. Second album, go. And this they time you get some money. Yeah. Like barely. Like, okay, we're going to hook you guys up with a bonus, but we're going to really push you guys. That's what happened? But yeah, they basically were just record label, uh, a record label band for the first two albums okay. uh, that they wrote but so they didn't start making any real money till after those albums yeah like uh what was it minutes to midnight when Probably, they started yeah. doing the writing like mm. and you hear the difference in the writing process and you're like oh this sounds way different than what you guys were doing yeah that's interesting but, you do, I, but i do think you need to evolve but going back to the original point that record label owned lincoln park so the songs written by Linkin Park were pretty much owned by the record label. So he's like, I want my cut. It's like, yeah, cool. Go get it from the record label. We didn't get shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we sold our music to make this project bigger and the record label believed in us, pushed us and we blew up. Oh, now you want a cut of that. Well, go get it from the first album because we didn't get anything from the first album. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's where it ends up being like a good luck, pal. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's I mean, I everyone's... think first off, you, you got to be able to you got to be able to establish that that uh, you know, you actually have credits on it. You know. Mm -hmm. And if if you don't have any of that, then that's a problem. You know. Yeah, I'm glad that we all in this band see it. A certain way and we all do it the way we do it you know what i mean like yeah. it's not a fucking well you did this or you did that or rob was on this song for 45 seconds and i was only on it for 35 it ain't any of that bullshit yeah. it's fucking this is the band this is the project is all of us so let's right that's that's the way we split it we just split it evenly so i love that <clears throat> um we got a few minutes left. Do you, you want to talk about Beetlejuice real quick? The trailer for Beetlejuice? Because that movie looks fucking rad, dude. Go oh, yeah. ahead, Rob. Go ahead, Rob. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Uh, just, they dropped that trailer. <laughs> the juice is loose. You know? <laughs> and you're like, oh! <laughs> oh That's such a good I'm Beetlejuice impression. Uh, I just, I can't wait for it. I've been loving that movie for, what? Over thirty years now. Don't say yeah, that, right? Don't say it like that. Yeah. I need. Like, I need. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. We also grew up with the cartoon, which kind of put in a, a different perspective of Beetlejuice that most people are used to. But if if I'm curious to see if they're going to blend that element, or if it's going to be strictly based off of the first movie. One thing I thought that was cool and interesting was uh, Tim Burton, right? Mm -hmm. Tim Burton said yep. that they went back to uh, stop motion for this movie. Like they went back to the old school way of filming things to keep that like authenticity of the first movie in this one. Oh, that's cool. I can't wait. I yeah. can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So is when, there uh, anybody is it... in the first movie that's not in this one? Yeah. The dad, yeah. right? Okay. Yep. Yep. And yeah. He passed is that away just or something, because... I believe. I was going to say, did the actor actually pass away? Is that why? Okay, I believe he's and, deceased. Yeah, I don't think so. And uh, yeah, think so? Uh, he got into some trouble. He got, he got into, into trouble. trouble. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He was canceled. All right. Oh, he was I think along, I know exactly. Uh, it was, was the same the time as the uh, dad from Seventh Heaven got in trouble. So. Yeah. Oh, for the same for the same thing. Kind Around the like same time, yeah. Ones. Yeah. Okay. So they yeah. went. They went and took his computer, and he's in trouble, right? Uh, well, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> Gross. But speaking of celebrities doing uh, dumb shit, did you hear about this guy who was uh, extra on Shameless? They caught him in the footage from January 6th. For... <laughs> they did? Yeah, this actor who has appeared on uh, NCIS and Shameless. Uh, they, there's footage of him at the Capitol during January 6th, and they're just like, that's you. Was he the dude with the head thing, the shaman guy, or what? The fucking shaman, dude? Hell yeah, dude. I have no clue. Uh, I don't think it was that guy, but that guy's, I think that guy's already 
in uh, jail and everything. Like in, that dude, that dude's doing now. something. I don't know. Like, it, here's the thing. Like, it's just like, if I don't understand how you're going to try to have a professional career and put your face out there as a actor is putting your look, your body, your face, your image out into the public. And then you put your face, your body, your image into a stupid situation in front of a bunch of cameras. It's like, I firmly, do believe, dumb shit. I firmly believe that everybody there that day was only there because they assumed there was going to be a very different outcome. And they, right. they, they, were, expected expecting no, they were expecting no consequences. Yeah. It's so like they were the heroes. Yeah. 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 So. Supposed to go in there, take a number, <laughs> playing like a civilian, you know? Yeah. See, they, don't they have a fucking email address for that, guys? I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, guys, don't be a dick, be a dude. This has been the last days of Warcast. Uh, please check out all of our links in the bio and get ready for fine. I'll do it myself. Drop in April 20th. Talk to you guys later.